All right, folks, Kevin here, AKA the Tattoo Toy Hunter, coming to you today with a really quick video. I'm gonna be doing a, putting a, actually putting man thing together. I have completed the wave. I wanna open up the figures, pose them, and put that, uh, that BAF together. But uh, just before I do that, I'm actually mailing off a bunch of packages to my post office, as you can see. Now, most of these packages, I apologize, I am way late dragging my butt <laughs> to get them out, but I'm finally doing it. Except for my buddy, David Blucher. Uh, it was an unfortunate incident with my post office. It was mailed somewhere else. So it took the week to get it mailed somewhere to the wrong place and then mailed back. So I got it, I picked it up. I have uh, made sure it was very clear where it was going. So <laughs> hopefully this time you will get it this week, buddy. Within two days, I'm gonna pri do the priority. Other than that, I got a package going out to Funko J. She's also a, a huge uh, pop collector on uh, YouTube from Australia. So that's really cool. Funko J, your package is going out. My buddy David. Also, I got a package for Danny Ochoa, a real good buddy and a collector who views my channel. Also, uh, my buddy Brian Starner, I have a package going out to you, buddy. I know I've been promising you all for a while. After this, also this week, I need to do uh, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So that's coming up also. But let's go in, not waste any more time, get this all mailed off, and then I'll get back to the plan for today. Catch y'all later. Pew, pew, pew. Alrighty, guys. So here is the my Netflix haul. I have everybody here except Blade, as you can see, is missing. I have not yet to find him, but I do have the Man Thing piece, as you can see here, the leg. Thanks to my good buddy David Blucher. Uh, make sure to go check him out. He was kind enough to pass me this because he just wanted Blade for his Blade collection, and he doesn't really care to build the build a figure. So. I am missing Blade. Other than that, I have everybody else. This was my very first figure to get. And she is, I think she's amazing. I mean, you can see that real soft, leathery looking jacket. It looks amazing. Pants, the sculpt. I mean, you really would think it's blue jean pants. They did really well on her. her uh, you can see we got the double knee. She's very, very highly articulated. And uh, I really love the Netflix show for her. I think it's incredible. It's very entertaining. I like her abilities. I like her in the comic books. She's a very cool character. So uh, I did open her up. As you can see, the hair is very soft. Uh, very cool, very articulative. She just looks tough. I love her with the fingerless gloves on. You can see she's got single elbow. Uh, and this is the part she comes with, with, is the main part, which is the torso and the lower groin area piece. It's got an amazing ab crunch. Uh, the sculpt in this is insane. It's got a little bit of paint. Like, they gave it a little love. You can see a few different shades of green in there. But the <coughs> detail in the in the sculpt is, like, crazy good. Crazy good. So, that's her. David's piece that he passed to me. And here is the other four that we still need to open. I think they're all amazing. So, let's go ahead and start with uh, Electra. Opening her up. You see she comes with a figure, alternate head sculpt, a leg for Man-Thing, and her two sighs. This is the whole uh, piece. We saw Jessica Jones, and then we have the other four here. That's how Blade looks. Blade looks amazing, and he has two head sculpt. I really, really want him, though. He's a, he's a great piece. So we got my handy-dandy knife. This is my EMS knife with my name on it. Make sure to always practice knife safety when using to open these boxes up. But we're going to go ahead and cut this one open on the side here and uh, pop that baby open. Open, open up the little side door here and pull her out. And she looks incredible. Let's go ahead. Okay, we have her removed from the packaging. Uh, surprisingly, she stands really well for a thinner female, uh, female build. I'm pretty impressed with her. You can see she's gorgeous looking. She has great ab crunch, a lot of articulation. Double knee also for her, the same as uh, Jessica Jones. She's a very beautiful, very beautiful figure. They did really well with her. I actually like the alternate head sculpt without the mask just because it looks so much like the actress. I think they did such a good job with the scanning technology that they have nowadays. I think she's gorgeous. 
But for now, just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and leave this head on. It looks really good as well. Like I said, she stands really well. You got to get her feet flat, but she, she does stand well for being a thinner figure. <clears throat> Here's the head sculpt. I think they did a marvelous job. She's beautiful. It's cool that the ponytail is uh, articulates as well. You can spin it around depending on what kind of uh, position you want to put her in. But very nice sculpt. Very nice. Here's the size. They really gave them a little bit of love. You got a couple of paints on them. I think they really look good. I'm very happy with them. And Electra, of course, you're going to think of her with size always because she, in the comic books and in the original movie and now in the Netflix series, definitely going to have it. That's the leg. She looks really good. Okay, so let's move on to the next figure. This is Bullseye. This is the last figure I got. As you saw, I purchased it at a, at a comic toy shop in San Antonio. We'll carve it open. <clears throat> I have uh, the Toy Biz version of this of this guy, Bullseye, and it's amazing. I love my Toy, toy Biz version. It looks really good. This one looks really good also. It doesn't have as much detail on the body, but definitely looks really good. So as you can see, we got a, an arm finally. An arm of Man Thing looks great. A lot of articulation in the arm. And it's big and bulky like you want your Build-A-Figures to be. I think they did a very good job here. You can see the longer hair kind of coming off the forearm. This is the alternate head that comes with him. It looks great. He looks crazy. His mouth is open. He's got a really wild looking stare from his eyes. They did really good sculpting this. And he has his uh, carved into his head the bullseye signal that you see a lot in comics. So I think they did a really good job with him. I'm going to leave him in the mask, I think. Uh, I'm not exactly certain because my Toy Biz has the mask, so maybe it'll be good to have unmasked. But uh, if you see the... It comes with a gun here and a knife, and I really like it because you can um, holster the gun and knife on his body. He has usable holsters that are on his uh, utility belt. And I, look at this, the double, the double paint on this, black and silver, and the detail. You can see the serrated edge. I mean, they did a really good job for such a small piece. Very, very happy with it. So let's take a look here at Bullseye. He's got that butterfly chest articulation I really like. I love the detail in this head sculpt. I really like him with the mask. As you can see, he's very articulated, double knee, double elbow. He's got the upper thigh, upper bicep. I love the hand that's on here. He comes with alternate hands, but this one is going to be the one that most people I would see want to display him with, the knife throwing hand where he's throwing three knives out. And you can see here with my white background, it, it kind of blurs out that uh, clear piece that holds the knives on his hand. I think it looks great. As you can see, you can sheath the knife in his, in his back, uh, back of his uh, belt, and I think it looks really wonderful. And here's the gun fits in perfect, so it looks amazing to pose him like this. I'm very, very satisfied with this figure. I didn't think I was going to care for it at first, but I'm very happy with it. I really like this entire wave, to be honest with you. Most waves, there's only one or two figures I really like, but this is one. I enjoyed all the shows, you know. Uh, Netflix is a big source of entertainment for us, so I'm very happy with it. This is another one that I'm, like, my top two favorite are the next two that I'm opening. Definitely this Punisher looks just like the actor. They did a very good job on the face sculpt. Kind of blew me away just from the beginning. Before this was released, seeing pictures kind of leaked out, like, I knew I had to have him. Uh, he looks great. Look at this big rifle he comes with. They didn't give it any paint love, but look at the uh, sculpt in there. You could see all the little details of the levers and the handles, and uh, everything looks wonderful. And he also comes with a really cool-looking handgun. This one also, there's not a lot of paint on it, but, I mean, you can make out the texture of the handle, and uh, it just it looks really good. I'm, I mean, you can even see they put in small screws on the handle. So you know there was some love given to that. Here's the other arm, which is incredible also. Uh, there's some paint on it for the nails and a couple of different colors of green in it. I'm very impressed. Look at this head sculpt. It kind of blows me away, guys. It looks just like the actor. I'm so happy uh, that they picked him for Punisher also. I think he did a great job. Uh, the sculpt here on his, on his uh, chest armor looks amazing with a little bit of paint. So you can make out, slightly make out the skull. I think that was a good choice. There's this kind of like BDU pants. They look good and wrinkled up. The sculpt is wonderful. Uh, I love this big trench coat that he's wearing. Kind of gives him that anti-hero look. It's very impressive. All in all, I'm very happy for this uh, figure. 
And last but not least, Daredevil, which I have to consider him as my favorite figure of the wave. They did really well. I really, really wish I had a unmasked of the actor. I think that would have been nice to have with it also. But what we did get, uh, you can't beat it. I got Punisher and him for $9 at my Walmart when it dropped down to 9 So 18 bucks for the two of them. I got Electra for 5 by the way. And uh, I paid retail for, for uh, the other guy, uh, the bullseye, because I needed him. So here's the head. I think they did a great job. You can see several paint jobs, several paint apps added to it. I loved how soft these, uh, these, whatever they are on his face is. And you can see the red eyes piercing through. Looks really good. He comes with uh, alternate fisted hands, which I'm going to leave the hands on him that holds his uh, staff or his stick, fighting staff. Uh, but they are nice to have. Here, we've seen these used a few times, though. They port into each other where it's one long staff or you can break them up and use them as two sticks fighting sticks but uh amazing thing about his body sculpt is that he has a, a sheath on the side of his leg where you can port both of them into and it looks really good to pose him with these put into the sheaths so i'm very impressed with this uh additional add-on they did them to most of the figures on this wave so i'm very happy i love this uh head sculpt i think it looks great with the horns and his uh suit looks incredible just like the netflix movie or tv tv series i'm sorry they did a really good job he also has really really good uh detail in his uh sculpt i think he has very very nice articulation and so here we have them all together you can see the build a figure in one big pile ready to be put together and the other five figures standing around him ready to get do battle so let's go ahead and uh, put him together. We'll snap him. As you can see here, it's very tight. So I'm happy that he won't fall apart at least when he is put together because it's not loose. But uh, struggling a little bit with the legs, but they eventually do. <laughs> I'm able to work them all the way on. You can kind of hear them pop into place when they get there. So very happy. So he looks already pretty tall just with the legs on. Let's snap the arms on. They go on a lot easier, to be honest with you. But you can feel that they snap in securely, so I'm not worried. We'll get the right arm on. Port it right into the, to the side here. And then his head goes on with ease. And I think he looks amazing. He looks like he's just under about 8 inches tall. In or around 7.5 to 8 inches. And uh, the detail him, on him is pretty incredible i do want to get the man thing the toy biz version as well i really like that one but he's kind of tall and slender on the toy biz version i really like this beefy bulky body that the new one has sorry i knocked them all over <laughs> but that's okay so we have him standing up again uh as you can see here he's just over seven he's closer to eight i think but uh, i'm very very happy with the way this build a figure turned out definitely happy uh, I also want to put up Sasquatch because it's kind of the same mold, if you think about it. But um, here he is standing, and uh, you can see all the strands and everything that makes him. Just the detail in him is just insane. Like, they went over, uh, above, and beyond on him. <clears throat> he looks amazing. Here's the rest of the wave, minus uh, Blade, which I will get eventually. I think each and every one of these is was better than I thought they would be. So I'm super happy with it. This wave is complete besides Blade, and uh, let's move on to the next. I'm kind of thinking X-Men maybe next. I can't wait to start seeing that show up, but uh, I'll just have to get it when I get it. <laughs> so this is it, guys. This is the Tattoo Toy Hunter reminding you to never give up that hunt. Y'all take care. Pew, 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 pew.